Hey Gunon everyone, welcome to my daily Ishkwara practice. Today is a very exciting day because we are moving on to unit two of my online course. And this is especially exciting for me because I've been taking bass classes through an actual like in-person class for the last year or so uh, here in the San Francisco Bay Area. But I came to the class a little late. It took me a while to psych myself up to join this bass class. So I jumped in, I don't know, like unit seven or something. So I never really saw the beginning stages. And so doing this online course is really fun because it uses the same curriculum as my in-person bass class. So I'm kind of going back and seeing the stuff that I missed the first time around. So unit two is introducing us right here to Anna and Michael, who if you've been following, you know, like my coursework talks about these two people all the time. They have dialogues with each other we have to read. They tell each other things. They get described all the time. It's like anytime we're talking about people in this curriculum, it's always Anna and Michael. And so today we're actually being introduced. I never met them before. I don't know anything about them. I always just laughed at like, why is his name Michael? His name should be Mikkel because it's best. And why is her name Anna? It should be Anne. Let's be super best. But um, apparently they're, they're real characters in this curriculum that have backstories that I never knew about. So today is another reading exercise, which is kind of like, Mah. for me, it's like, Mah. I really love my fill in the blank activities. <laughs> But it's okay, a little comprehension is always a good thing to practice. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll just read some quick descriptions of Anna and Michael. Okay, here we go. So, Anna eta Michael gure lagunak eskual herian daude. Our friends Anna and Michael are in the Basque country. Baina nortzuk dira, but who are they? Ser dira, what are they? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Ira kurri testuak eta erantzun galderei. Galderei? Not sure about that. Read the text and find out. Oh, we have pictures to go along with them. Uh, well, Anna, you can't really see her at all because she's turning her head, but Michael is definitely older, I think, than I imagined him. <laughs> I imagined them to be my age, but what are you going to do? Okay, so Anna Erneta. Oh, she has a last name. Ni Anna Erneta nice. I am Ana Arneta. Argentina quan nice. Is that why you're always talking about Argentina? You guys have suggested in the comments and we're on the same page. I just thought we talked about Argentina a lot because there's a big Basque diaspora presence in Argentina and they're probably the ones learning Basque on this curriculum. So of course they'd want to include shout out Argentina every once in a while, but maybe we're always talking about it because our main character, Anna, is from Argentina. I had no idea. That's very clever on the part of the curriculum developers to have the main person be from Argentina. Okay. Mendoza qua nice. She's from Mendoza. Mendoza hiri handia da. Apparently it's a big city. I've never heard of Mendoza, Argentina before right this very moment. So it's a big city. Orain Buenos Aires bici nice. Oh, she lives in Buenos Aires. I just assumed she was in the Basque country because we're learning Basque. The things are coming together, guys. She is Hogeta Hamar Urte Ditut, 35 years old. Oh gosh. How do you say comma in Basque? How, how is that? Bat, comma, Hirogeta uh, Hamabi? Centimetro nice, eta hirogeta she kilo. Okay, I, I mean, I'm American, so that means nothing to me. But apparently she's one meter and 72 centimeters, I guess, and 66 kilos. Ile belsa dut, she has black hair. Casetaria nice, she is a journalist, broadcaster, news reporter, something like that. Clarin Eguncarian. In the newspaper Clarín, I guess, never heard of it. Is that in Argentina? I'm guessing. Nire lana osho interesegaria da. I just learned this word in the last unit. Uh, her work is very interesting. And is this going to say interesante again? Let's try it. Yep, interesante. So my Basque English curriculum is not perfecto. <laughs> es nago es conduta. She is not married. Eta es dut sheme alabarik. She has no kids. 
Kurashoak, aispa eta amona bisi gara echean. Oh, okay. Parents, sister, and grandma. We we live in the house. So does that mean she lives with her entire family? Because this is gara, so that's a we conjugation. So parents, sister, and grandma. We live in the house. Okay, cool. She is 35 years old, single, no kids, lives with her family potentially in Buenos Aires, but she's from Mendoza. Hmm. I'm very curious to see who this Michael is and how she even knows him because, well, I thought they were in the Basque country, right? It says our friends Anna and Michael are in the Basque country. So how did they meet? I'm curious. Oh my gosh. His name is Michael Ludwig? Stop it. This, oh, it's it's all coming together now. Ni Michael Ludwig Nice. My name, I am Michael Ludwig. Alemania Koa Nice. He's German. I never knew he was German. How? This whole time I've been working with this curriculum, I just assumed they were Basque people with like weirdly foreign names. And now I come to find out that they are foreign people in the Basque country. What? But it makes sense because this curriculum is designed for foreigners in the Basque country to learn Basque. So, oh, that's nice. They gave us relatable characters and I had no idea. <laughs> okay, Berlin and BC nice. He's from Berlin. Um, Berogay Urte Ditut. He's 40 years old. Uh, one, bat, comma, Laurogay Ta B. Centrimo nice eta lauroge tahiru kilo. So he's one meter and 82 centimeters and 83 kilos. Ile surya dude. Ah, yes, see, I knew he looked older than me. He has gray hair. I guess in Basque you say white hair. Universitateko irakashlea nice. He is a university teacher. How did a German end up as a university professor in the Basque country? I'm curious, what does he teach? He's kunzalaria, nice. Oh, that makes sense. Does that mean he's a linguist? Because he's kunza, I know, is language. So he's kunzalaria, a languageologist, <laughs> something like that, a linguist. Um, that would explain why he knows Basque. Bakarik, BC, nice. He lives alone. Banatuta Nago. Oh man, I've been doing so well at this comprehension so far. I have been killing the game and now right at the end I found a word that I don't know. I've never seen and I cannot guess. Banatuta Nago. Let's look it up on El Huar Histegiak. Banatuta. It's a verb, I think. Oh, Banatu. Excuse me. Barkatu. <laughs> Okay, all the way to the bottom. To deliver, to distribute, to give out, to divide, to spread, to disperse, to scatter. What? What is this? Does this mean I am scattered? Like, <laughs> I am delivered? I am uh, in context? Like, I, I'm still not really understanding. Google Translate, do you have any thoughts? I am divided. Oh, because, okay, so... Anna was talking about her marital status. So is this a term to mean divorced or separated? Because he lives alone. He just said he lives alone. If you know in the comments what banatuta means, let me know. I'm curious. Orain Oshondo BC nice. Now I live very well. <laughs> is he trying to say, mm, I used to be married, but now I live alone and life is good? <laughs> Shakur Handibat Dut. Ice. So he has one big dog, Ice, Ace, Oosh, I have no idea, but cute name, I guess. Nire Gurashoak Franciaco Kostaldean Daude Oporetan Nissan. Okay, whoa, there's a lot going on here. Something about his parents. My parents, um, and Franciaco from France, but Kostaldean, I've never seen this, but I'm guessing it means the French coast. So his parents are on the French coast on vacation in Nice. I'm guessing Nissan, it must be in Nice. And then B. Anaya Ditut, he has two brothers. Okay, all right. 
So I still have questions. <laughs> well, I'm very glad, first of all, to find out that these are non-native Basque people in the Basque country. Like their names make a lot more sense now and maybe their conversations that I didn't really understand. It's good to know this going forward. You know, it's always good to have context when reading dialogues and stuff so you can kind of piece things together. But this reading has left me with a lot of questions because now I want to know, like, how do they know each other? Why are they always talking? How is it that this reporter in Buenos Aires is, like, having all these conversations with this 40-year-old divorced German man in the Basque country? Well, is he in the Basque country? Actually, I'm sorry, I just assumed. But he didn't say anything about being in the Basque country. He just said that he's a university professor. He could be in Germany, for all I know, speaking Basque, because he's a linguist, and I guess, like, there's people in Germany who speak Basque, right? So I'm, I'm still confused, but I'm very glad that we have met our new best friends, Anna and Michael. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that for today. Let it, leave a little mystery, you know? Give us something to look forward to <laughs> for tomorrow. So, if you can help me with any of the questions I had in this video, I appreciate you letting me know in the comments. And if you have gone and tried this online curriculum, I'm always curious to know your thoughts, or even just following along. What are your thoughts on how is this going? If you wanna find out where to see this online course yourself, I made a video all about it. You can find that video in the description below. So you can watch that after this one. And subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel so you can see all of our videos all the time about the Basque language and Basque country. And lots of Basque things are happening here. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.